Psalm 68.5 To the fatherless, he is a father. To the widow, he is a champion friend. And to the lonely, he makes them part of a family. To the prisoners, he leads them into prosperity until they sing for joy. This is a season of family. But I want to speak to those who've been in isolation. I want to speak to those who've been living for too long under the weight of the pain, under the rejection, under the lies, the manipulation that you receive from people that never extended the love of the Father correctly to you. Maybe it's jaded you from ever experiencing or ever expecting that God could bring you true, authentic, genuine family. Maybe it's caused you to even feel like that God doesn't have good for you, that you're not worthy of being loved. That's not true. This is a season that He's chasing you down. He's pursuing your heart. He's saying, son and daughter. I want you to know my love. I want you to know my voice. I want you to know how much I adore you. I feel his weighty presence right now. He wants to set you free. There's a healing anointing that's going to come like a healing balm. Just allow that right now. Just in His presence, just allow His presence just to begin to flood into every part of your heart and life. If you feel grief and sorrow just begin to come forth, pain, anger, just allow Him to take it. We're going to pray today. God doesn't want you like that. He doesn't want you bound anymore. Your isolation season is over. Your outcasted season is over. Your season of just constantly being at the receiving end of judgments and accusations that have silenced you you and shut you up and caused you to retreat, that's over. God wants to surround you with people that will champion you. I want to pray for you today. If you've ever been hurt, abused by your biological family, friends, maybe a church, institution, a spiritual leader, whoever it might be, If you've ever experienced control, manipulation, spiritual bondage from family, friends, church leaders, doesn't matter who it is, God wants to set you free today. If you've been rejected and outcasted, if you've been made to feel like you don't belong or fit, if you've become disillusioned even by the idea of ever having true family or true friends because you've seen you've seen too many people come and go in your life people betray you and let you down then today God wants to bring healing to you and he wants to settle the score in your life he wants to settle the score that you are worth loving that he sent his son for you to enter into the family of God but that you could also experience love from a family. God wants to bring healing and set you free today from the words that have been that have been holding you under that label and under that brand and under that thing that has dictated to you who you are aside from the heart of God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. If this is you, just pray this with me.
God, today, I choose to forgive those who hurt me. Those who abused me, betrayed me, and abandoned me. Those who rejected me, squashed me, silenced me, usurped me, belittled me, and cast me off. God, I release them right now. I release them from any bitterness I've had towards them. Lord, I forgive them. Lord, and I, let, I just let go of that pain today so I can begin to believe you for the family you have waiting to surround me. God, I forgive the church. God, I forgive those leaders. Because I know that although they didn't accept me, they never changed your acceptance of me. Holy Spirit, I give you permission to remove all trauma and roots of abuse in my heart and life that have been keeping me in a standstill, isolated, stunted, and separated from my destiny. God, I choose not to hide today. I choose not to hide anymore from fear of being hurt, misunderstood. I choose today not to be a lone ranger anymore. Help me to open up my heart again, God. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt anymore. I don't want to believe the worst about people anymore. God, I need family and they need me. God, the world needs what is unveiled in me when I'm in a tribe. The world needs what is released through me when I'm in a family of authentic lovers of Jesus. Lord, I've been longing for real family and people I can trust my heart with. People I can run with. People who won't betray me or cut me down with their words. So Lord, I ask you today to bring them to me. So I can experience your full design for my life. Fulfilled and walking out the calling that you've given me. In Jesus' mighty name. This is a new day for me, God. This is my prison break season. And I prophesy right now, I am coming out of isolation. I am coming out of obscurity. I am coming out of that cave. going to settle anymore with this. I'm not going to settle anymore with living alone. I'm not going to settle anymore, God, by feeling rejected, 
constantly rehearsing the pain of my past. God, I'm not going to settle there. I'm not going to live there another day. God, you have more for me than that. And I just feel the cry rising up within me, God, that it is time for me to find my tribe, to find my people, to find my family. God, religion and things have taught me to withhold, to run, to retreat. But Father, you're safe. Father, you're a safe place. Surround me with people that are safe. Surround me with people that I could plant my roots down deep with, God. And Lord, I also prophesy that this is a new day for my family. This is a new day for my family. There'll be no more dysfunction in my home. God, you're turning us into a family. You're healing every place and every part of our lives that's been broken down so Lord I surrender my family surrender my heart and life to you afresh do what you want to do God do what you want to do in me God I won't be afraid anymore I'm coming out of isolation 